Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be talking about Walk on the Wild Side and the ep Season 2 Episode 1 started last night which was Saturday the 18th if I'm not mistaken and I forgot how much I loved this show. You may remember it from Series 1, most people will remember it from Series 1 because it was very talked about but just briefly in case you don't know what it's about um, it's a show on BBC where you have loads of different video clips of animals doing random things and some of our greatest comedians do voiceovers and narrate what's going on as if they were the animal. For example, there's a picture, there's one of a monkey on a tree and one of the comedians will voice the thoughts in that monkey's head. Always something silly and funny and quite unexpected. And there are some memorable clips from the first series. The one I remember the most, and I think the one most people remember the most, it was used for the promo. There's videos all over YouTube of it and people still talk about it is the um, the beaver, um, voiced by Jason Jason Manford, where he's going, Alan, 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 Steve, 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 for about a day. And the whole Alan thing was hysterical. I loved it so much. Just seeing him sitting there just going, Alan, 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 love it. I still watch clips on YouTube of that all the time and it never fails to amuse me. It is fantastic. Um, so when the, when the series started again last night, I was like, I have high expectations for the second series. It will be hard to beat because series one was incredible. You know, so many funny things and so many random clips as well. Um, but I can say that the first episode last night was very good, definitely worth watching and just as good as some of the episodes in the first series as well. I think what makes this show so special is the comedians themselves. If it was just sort of like, say, a You've Been Framed type thing where you have Harry Hill saying something that's going on, but because the comedians are actually taking us inside the head of the animals in the videos, it makes it a little bit more connected and that little bit more special. Um, there, there are a lot of comedians who do it, but the three that I love completely are, um, well, Jason, Jason Manford, of course, is fantastic. You also have Rod Gilbert, who... I love, first of all, I love the Welsh accent, so to have Rod doing this is brilliant, but I love Rod as well. And then, the third one is my favourite, it's Sarah Milliken. The thing about Sarah is that I love her voice, you know, I mean, she's very funny, her stand-up is incredible, but her voice makes it all that bit more special. She has the single best voice on par with Linda Bellingham, ever. I actually listen to her, I, I listen to some of her, um performances and things just to hear her voice. I mean she's from the same part of the world as I am. She's from um, North East England, so am I, but I clearly sound nothing like Sarah. So, um, okay, a lot of people are going to leave comments saying, well, there you sound Scottish or Irish as most people think. I'm not Irish, never been to Ireland, I just want to clear that up. I am from Newcastle originally. Um, so I just love hearing her accent, it is so fantastic. She does um, one of them, I can't remember the animal, but it's in a river or a lake or a sea and um, it's, she sings. She sings Copacabana and I think it is fantastic. I love it so, so much. Just every clip brings something new. The only downside is, is that sometimes the animals will recur. Okay, so when that, that Alan, Alan, Alan beaver thing does come back again, like we'll have a clip and then a couple of clips later it'll be him again. That is fine. The only problem is sometimes animals I don't like come back. For example, say there was one of a tiger. I cannot remember any tiger clips. But if there was a clip where somebody voiced a tiger and I didn't really find it funny, when that comes along again, it's like, go away. Um, luckily, there aren't that many of them. And that's not technically a flaw with the show. It just depends on your own humour and what you find funny. You know, because, I mean, there will be people out there who, who will not find the Alan Beaver that funny. But I think he's perfect. So series 2 is definitely worth a watch. Well, I say that. There's only been one episode so far. According to IMDB, there's going to be seven. So it looks like we've got it for another five, six weeks or so. There was six in series one, so there's a lot to catch up on. There's a lot of clips on YouTube. Um, they'll probably be played at some point. Check out BBC iPlayer. It's definitely worth watching. Again, my apologies to those in the States and Australia and basically out with the UK. Because um, I know I do talk a lot about... Um, UK based shows and then people will leave me comments and send me messages and things saying Amy I can't watch this and it's like I'm sorry I'd help you if I could do check YouTube if, if you want to watch it because there are a lot on there which I 
fingers crossed I'm saying this correctly, which will not be um, region protected. Because I know, I, I once started to watch Hearts of Fire, um, Beth Broderick's in it, reason I was watching it. Um, and it was fine, and I watched the first two episodes. And then about a month later, I went back to watch episode three, and whoever had uploaded the video had region protected it, which meant that they wouldn't allow people outside the, outside the States to watch their video. I was like, well, that's unfair. So hopefully you're going to be able to watch this if you're out with the UK. Do check it out, and at the very least, check out the Alan Beaver. I will try and find a video and post a link in the blow bar for you. If I do forget to do that, give me a nudge and I will do that. Um, give me two seconds. Um, my apologies for that, that was my phone. Um, yes, what was I saying? Yes, that was nearly the end of the video anyway, typically. So go and watch it and things, and even check out the Alan Beaver video because it is fantastic and absolutely definitely worth the watch. My cat's making a mess. Um, feel free to leave comments and things and let me know your thoughts on the um, show itself. If you have any requests, I'll just click my finger, let me know. I will be pre-recording pretty much all of my videos by Wednesday will be done for the rest of this week because I am moving, as most of you know, on Monday, a week, a week, a week soon. Um, <laughs> try to work out what day it is today. Um, it's Sunday today, so a week tomorrow. I will be moving then, 27th. Um, and I won't have much time on the last few days to do videos and things. So, if you leave any requests after Wednesday, I will try and get them done. But if not, they might be done in about a couple of weeks. But that's all I want to see in this video. So until next time, I will see you later. Bye, guys.